Log recording. It is 9.58 in the morning, Monday, the 24th of April, 2023. Ah, the zombie weaver, John C. Rosemont, California. Holy crap. Today is not the day to get emotionally triggered, that's for sure. But I am conflicted and confused. I'd already talked about a couple of news personalities that I didn't uh, didn't expect, but I should have expected, and maybe had a sneaking suspicion they would have. It kind of left me conflicted, confused, and empathetic for both of them. One of them I should have been hating like crazy, but no, I just feel sorry for the bastard because of the way he made himself. Actually, both of them had made themselves into... CNN was fast enough to announce the uh, announce uh, the removal of Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson about a few hours ago. So now I am just watching something, just seeing how we. Oh. I'm just going to be watching news for right now, not the local, but just the national stuff, just the. See what the hell's going on in CNN. See how they're reacting. And then, I mean, it just blew me away on this one. The rest of the morning was fine. Got through the bug spraying. Talked to a guy about his uh, his little situations he's been having with governments, shall we say that. Uh, guy doesn't know how to do amendment proxies. And uh, got my college thing taken care of, as I said before. And then when they're gone, then I turn on the news and I heard Tucker Carlson. I went like a madman. And then I see Don Lemon. I'm like, son of a bitch. Why did he have to open up his big fucking mouth like the way he did? But he was on his way out. So now I'm going to be turning on New Central right now and see what the hell's going on. So I'll get back to you on this one here. Well, I was going to be talking about it, and they may have talked about it earlier this morning, about how the world situation is happening, and are we closer to Armageddon or what, or are we still in another plateau? we still got to get over the hump. Crisis in Sudan, we had... American personnel over there. We, not to mention we had dual citizenships hanging around. And it seems like I'm getting the flashbacks of what happened um, back in Afghanistan when they were trying to uh, get people out of there. And how things went screw over there. Now they're doing the same situation regarding the Sudan. Two military rival generals are clashing over a town. At first, they wanted to get rid of one warlord and then became what they re despised. And in the midst of all the damn combat, you've got people hiding and struggling, trying to get the hell out of Sudan one way or another. So now we've got flight ops happening. We have more than a lot of people that we've got stationed over there and said so before dual citizenships in Sudan that they're trying to get out. I don't know if this is going to be sloppy or not, but I was getting real real crazy over there. But we're not the only ones having it over there. We have other countries with their own representatives and their own people over there. So it's becoming nuts. We've got flights of choppers and planes And besides that, Ukraine's still going crazy. Anything concerning about a grain deal that Russia had has been blown to hell. So Russian grain is not going to feed the world. So now we got hunger situations happening. We're going to have them. Can't process grain if we don't get grain. The other countries are going to have problems with concerning about this situation. 
So, politics is getting more and more uglier. Apparently, the front runners of both the Democratic and the Trump Party. There's polls coming out that they don't like both Biden and Trump. But we haven't had any strong Democratic representation coming out and, and announcing going against Biden at this point. But Trump, you know, we got people coming out to go after his ass. Nothing much on the health scare. Except what I keep fearing about. Not what people keep talking about. Revelations or... Ah, the end is coming. The end is near. Oh, well. It seems that we're going to be in a, in a mess. Anyway... I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Well, I'm more than concerned, Dad. I was feeling elated because I was going to be going over to college, and I still want to hope for that and, and shoot for that. Let's not use the word shoot. I'm aiming for it. Targeting? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's just say we have it on a calendar and we're taking it one day at a time until we get to the time of getting into class. Works for me. In the meantime, I don't know if the Ukraine war is going to be continuing on or not, but that's still screwed up, isn't it? I don't know what the hell is happening in the morning world. Uh, suffice it to say that I am... Going to be taking some more time off without really having a conniption fit at this point. And I think I still am having a conniption fit because I sure as hell don't want the hell having anything else go crazy at this point. I mean, I can't believe that all this shit's happening. This morning I'm freaking out concerning about Tucker Carlson. I'm going to get that on there. I'm going to be getting that on there right now. Set a premiere. You know, I am what I am concerning about some of my filing as I publish some of my videos. I'll change the date around a little bit. And the title. I just want to get some of this stuff out there. Can't believe it, man. Holy shit, this is like freak me out time. Alright, that's gone. So now, once I got them out, I can just get some editing going. So, let's edit. I need to shit. Well. We're 
We're going to be getting the rest of the stuff out there. And we're going to be talking about some other stuff. And putting my regular shit out there anyway. So I just had to update a couple of them. And waiting for the rest of the stuff to be downloaded. I'm just having a conniption fit. Okay, one is going to be put on. Unless until I take care of the damn thing. That's good. But the other two are out there. And I'm waiting for the rest of the stuff to be downloaded. And then after that, who knows? Holy shit, what the hell's going on today? I swear to God. <sighs> 